Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video and if this is your first time with me I would like to say welcome. My name is Alexis but I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. I design tools to help overwhelmed women manage their time, energy, and expectations. So if you are interested in getting all of your goals and plans and ideas out of your head and onto paper so you can get down to business, I'll leave some links down below in the description box where you can check out more of my work online and feel free to shop my latest collection of inserts, ebooks, classes, and courses over at thecharmshop.com. So today's video is Disc Bound Planners 101, how to get started using a disc bound system. So I have a lot to show and teach you in today's video, so let's go ahead and jump right in. On and off throughout the years, my planner binding method of choice has been the disc bound system. If you're not familiar with the disc binding concept, it's similar to the idea of a spiral notebook, but instead of a solid metal spiral holding the notebook together, you have metal or plastic discs that can pop in and out of a cover. These discs being removable means that you can add or remove paper to your disc bound system as you like, so long as the paper has been punched with a disc binding punch. As you may already know, the current planner I'm using was created with the help of the disc binding system, and I want to teach you more about the system so you can see just how easy it is to customize your own planner or notebook organization system. I will of course be leaving resources to as much as I can in the description of this video, so please check there for links to items I discuss. First, let's talk about the best features of the disc bound system. Number one is definitely customization. The main reason I love using a disc bound system as my planner is because it is completely customizable. I can create my own custom planner inside a binding and add and remove items on a whim. I find the disc binding to be very secure, but also easy for you to add and remove elements at the same time. Best feature number two, interchangeability. The next feature I love about disc bound systems is that they are interchangeable for the most part. In just a moment, I will outline some of the most popular disc bound planner systems to give you an idea of the options available. But with each system, the discs, refills, and accessories are interchangeable. So you can pick and choose what you want to use from one collection or another to build your perfect system. And finally, flexibility. The final feature I love about disc bound systems is that they fold over onto themselves like a spiral bound notebook. I love this flexibility because I'm someone who does like to fold a notebook over to write. Although my personal disc bound planner is kept inside a notebook cover, I frequently remove the planner portion from the cover to write in it. And of course, I fold the system over like a notebook when I do. Next, let's talk about the most popular disc bound systems. As I mentioned earlier, there are a number of disc bound planner systems out on the market currently. Here is a list to help you browse some of the most popular systems to find the right elements to help you build your perfect system. Arc from Staples. The Levenger Circa Line. Tool, which is available from Office Depot. IQ360, which is a line at Walmart. Office by Martha Stewart, also available from Staples. 11 discs. Disc Agenda from Doki Book. And I will also include Mambi's Happy Planner that you can find at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, other craft stores in this list. Although to be clear, despite being a discount system, many of their inserts and some of their accessories are set to proprietary sizing, which isn't compatible with the other interchangeable systems mentioned. Next, let's talk discount planner essentials. First would be the discs. The major element of a discount system are the discs themselves. Across the different branded systems, you can find a variety of sizes, colors, and materials like plastic or aluminum. In terms of disc sizes, across different brands, they range from half of an inch to up to one and a half inches in diameter. Now, a half inch disc, which I do not have an example of in my personal collection, holds 50 to 70 sheets of paper 
dependent on the weight of that paper. Here we have a three quarters inch disc and this disc will hold 90 to 100 sheets of paper. A one inch disc holds 110 to 150 sheets of paper and a one and a half inch disc holds 140 to 222 sheets of paper. Now in terms of materials, you can get discs in either plastic or aluminum and they come in a variety of colors and finishes. Plastic discs tend to be the most affordable option. However, I do prefer aluminum because I find that there is a much smoother page turn with aluminum rather than plastic. Also, in terms of the ease of use, I find that the smaller sizes of discs tend to be a little bit easier to work with than the larger sizes. And that could just be my own personal preference, but I find that it's easier to actually like flip through pages when you have a smaller disc size. It's not that you can't use a larger disc. Obviously I have systems, organization systems that I've even created that use these larger discs, but you have to be a little bit more conscientious when you're flipping the pages. It's not so casual. Of course, as with everything in life, there are benefits and drawbacks to each option that you choose. Next, let's talk about front and back covers. Each different branded system for Discbound has a variety of different binding covers from thin plastic covers that can make simple notebooks to more substantial covers that have built-in organization elements. So you can see here, this cover here is from Martha Stewart and it is more of a coated canvas feel and it has pockets and a pen loop. And similarly, this leather cover from ARC from Staples, right, is a nice hard leather, also same thickness as the previous cover. And again, similar organization inside, if you can see it, I realize it's black. And you might not be able to see it perfectly, but there are a variety of different cover options that you can use, um, either independently, like, these covers, which would make perfect front and back covers with no need for anything else. Or you could use something like these plastic covers in addition to something like a notebook cover that I use. Now I do want to make one little comment about the sizes of a disc bound system. I know I mentioned earlier that the Mambi Happy Planner, although it is a disc bound system, is not the same sizing as the rest of the interchangeable disc bound systems. So for the most part, all of the disc bound systems that I have familiarity with and the ones that I've mentioned to you today pretty much come in two standard sizes. So you can get a like full letter size. So this would probably work for A5 full letter or you can get the half letter, which is also known as the junior size in some of the brands. So that is five and a half by eight and a half as letter is eight and a half by 11 inches. Um, there, I do believe there are some smaller sizes as well, but these are the two that I have the most familiarity with and are pretty much the ones that you'll see consistently across all different brands, either a full letter or a half letter size. Me and my big ideas, Happy Planner has their own proprietary sizes. I believe there are three of them. Um, one of them is somewhere between like a personal size and an A5 or half letter. Another one is larger than A5, but smaller than a full sheet of letter. And then the third one is even, I believe it's even bigger than um, a full letter sheet of paper as well. So that is why I do want to point out that not all of the systems are perfectly interchangeable, but for the most part, a lot of them are where you'd be able to pair any discs with any covers within a certain size and everything is interchangeable. Next, let's talk about a punch. Of course, if you're interested in creating a customizable system like me, you're going to need to get a disc bound punch. I recommend getting one for the system that you use the most. And personally, I use the ARC version and I love it because although it is a bit bigger, it has some wonderful guides to help you to punch a variety of sizes of paper. So you can see here, um, hope, I don't know how much you're actually going to be able to see, but I'm going to read it to you, that there is a lever here that helps you to adjust the guide of the size of the paper. And I have here an option for A5. Junior, which I said before was half letter, and letter as well as A4. 
right? So I actually have a little bit of junior sized paper here. I cut down some plain paper to show you just a little demo of how easy this is to use, but you just line your paper up with that guide. Make sure that it is firmly placed into where the punches are. And there you go, you have punched some inserts. Now, the choice of what punch you're gonna use is absolutely up to you and your budget. But when it comes to choosing one, I do recommend choosing a sturdier punch, even though they may be a little bit more expensive. For example, this punch, I think was something like 40 to $50, but it's at least five years old. So it was an investment that really held up for me. If I had to purchase again, I might actually choose the Levenger punch because that one is also very sturdy and I think it's a little bit more compact than this one from Arc. But I would definitely say, whatever you're choosing, try to avoid the smaller or travel size punches because I have not heard the best feedback about those. So definitely, if you're going to get into this and you want to make the right investment, I think buying a more sturdy punch is the way to go. Okay, so next let's talk about notebook covers. Although there are a variety of disc bound system front and back covers, as I mentioned earlier, I also use a leather notebook cover to protect my system. So my current cover comes from Chanel and it's no longer available, but I also have notebook covers from Gigi New York or Graphic Image New York. You guys may recognize this planner cover. And in the past, I've even removed rings from a Filofax original to create a cover for my disc bound system. The key with using covers is that you need to have one that has some sort of back slip pocket. So this GG New York one actually has kind of has two. I never know which one is really the front and which one is the back. There is a big slip in this one as well, but that's gonna be very necessary for whatever cover that you use as well. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's actually a cover that's gonna actually be able to house your system. Now, although many of the notebook covers that are out there that work with these systems do work on that sort of slip pocket system, I also have this interesting cover that comes from Disc Agenda from Do People that actually anchors to the discs themselves through the binding mechanism. So you can actually just go ahead and basically pop on your discs into this cover. And it is now attached to this cover as well. So that is another sort of option you have if you're interested in some sort of notebook cover for your planner. Finally, let's talk about some extra organizational accessories that you might be interested in for your disc bound system. So we obviously have here a set of dividers. So this is a way that you could be adding extra organization to your planner with something like these disc bound dividers, like a whole set of them. These ones came from Martha Stewart for Avery that comes from Staples, but I also have the ARC ones and a number of other systems also carry these sorts of dividers. Um, from me and my big ideas, Happy Planner, something I do have are these page marker style list pads, which I think are very awesome and they're pre-punched. And this is just an example of one of their accessories that although it's for the Happy Planner, it actually will work with a junior or the full size disc bound systems. Another Martha Stewart office accessory, yes it is, Martha Stewart accessory, is this interesting pocket that has a zip at the top and then has this mesh lining pockets where you can put like a pen and maybe pads for sticky notes. Just something else that you can go ahead and put in your system to add functionality. I also have lots of these style of pockets. So if you just wanna add extra paper or stickers or whatnot into your planner, Pockets are also very essential. And then I have a zip pocket as well. You may not be able to see this very well because it's pretty transparent. And this one comes from Arc at Staples, but you know, just a traditional zip pocket and it is punched for the Arc system. So there are plenty of other accessories if you go and browse like Arc at Staples or Tool or really any of the lines that I've mentioned have some interesting accessories, but I would say these are probably the most popular types of accessories that maybe the widest variety of us would be using inside of our disc bound planners.
Finally, let's talk about putting all of this information together and creating a custom planner using the disk bound system. Obviously, that is the system that I have used to put together my planner and using the different elements, the disks, the covers, and having your own set of inserts, right, to act as refills into your planner, you can create your own completely customizable planner system. Now, of course, for my own customized system, I use my master planner system inserts in my planner, right? Because that has everything I need to create my own custom planner that fits my specifications. But you can purchase inserts for your planner from a lot of different places. Of course, the first place you might want to get inserts from is from the companies that actually create the different disk binding systems, right? Because ARC, Martha Stewart, Tool, all of these different companies put together inserts um, that you can use inside of their systems and you can customize sections and make exactly what it is that you want. As well, there are plenty of other companies online and on Etsy that also sell pre-printed and pre-punched disc bound compatible inserts. So that's one of the greatest things about disc bound is now it's becoming much more mainstream and you can actually purchase pre-printed inserts from a variety of sellers. Just make sure that you check the size compatibility of your inserts with the system that you're using before you proceed with this option. If you're interested in creating your own custom planner using the disc bound system, I do have a video tutorial that I created a few years ago that walks you through the very simple process once you assemble all the individual elements that you want for your system. So I will leave that video linked in the description as well. So that's everything that I think you need to know about Discbound Planners to help you get started. And I hope this information has been helpful to help you evaluate the Discbound Planner system as an option for you. Of course, make sure to check the description box of this video for links to some of the items I've mentioned today. And if you have any other questions about Discbound Planners, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anyone you think would find it helpful. For more of the behind the scenes of my productivity, life, and business, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye-bye.